Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and since the Majin Vegeta event is going to drop in about 10 minutes, I figured let me do a quick card review. Um, so we're going to start off with his base form. It is the Dark Desire Awoken Majin Vegeta. His leader skill is Agility Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. His super attack is Big Bang Attack, Supreme Damage, Rare Chance to Stun the Enemy. Passive skill is Duel Between Rivals, Attack plus 80% when performing Super Attack. And Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Ace, Super Saiyan, the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Pride, and Over and Flash. In order to Doken Awaken him, he requires seven medals from the Hero Extermination Plan on Stage 22, which is titled The Dark Prince Returns. That is where the Majin Vegeta medals are. Again, you're going to need seven of them to Doken Awaken him. Once you Doken Awaken him, his title is now the Final Clash Majin Vegeta. His leader skill is Agility Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. Uh, super Attack is Final Impact, causes supreme damage to the enemy, rare chance to stun the enemy. His passive skill is Battle to the Death, attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Ace, Saiyan Pride, the Saiyan Lineage, Over in a Flesh, and Shattering the Limit. Now this one requires 21 medals from each of the following events. The first one is going to be the Shadow Dragons of Despair event, which is the Omega Shenron event, the Darkness Shrouding the Future, which is the Goku Black event, Blazing Blue Fusion, which is the Vegito Blue event, Miracle Sword of Light, which is the Rage Trunks event, and last but not least, Beautiful Rose Colored Terror, which is the Super Saiyan Rose event. Now, 21 medals of each means you have to run each event three times on the hardest difficulty available in order to get seven drops per run, uh, and that will allow you to Dokun Awaken him into the final form, his LR form, which is beyond the Ferocious Flash Majin Vegeta. His new leader ability is Agility Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. His super attacks are both Final Impact from 12 to 17 key and Final Explosion from 18 key or more. Now, this one's a little bit different from the LRs, where his Mega Colossal and Colossal are swapped. Um, his Final Impact from 12 to 17 key does more damage as Mega Colossal damage to the enemy, rare chance to stun, while his Final Explosion, which is 18 key or more, is Colossal damage to all enemies. And that is, that is why he has that... Uh, that Colossal instead of Mega Colossal because he attacks all, he can attack all unit at 18 or more. And each one gives you a rare chance to stun the enemy. His passive skill for the dearly beloved attack was 150% when performing a super attack. His link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Pride, the Vegeta family over in a flash, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. Um, his max stats are HP of 16,050, attack of 15,870, and defense of 9,763. And as for the additional information, Majin Vegeta Super Attack is Final Impact after 18 key. He uses Ultra Super Attack Final Explosion, which gains the Attack All Ability. Maximum, maximum Super Attack level is 20, 12 key multiplier is 140%, and 24 key multiplier is 200%. So that being said, guys, he's a decent unit. I'm not going to say that he's bad. He's good for a 90% leader. He does not do well on an extreme 120 lead, and he is an extreme character. Uh, so, I mean, take that for what you will. He kind of got outdone with the Broly. Uh, in terms of World Tournament use, uh, I, I, su I suppose you could technically use him in the World Tournament if you don't have LR Broly. Uh, but again, since on the JP side we had really low pull rates, it doesn't really make too sense to try and pull for him. I hope that information helped you out. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I will catch you in the next video.